Hello guys, welcome to Exception Hack. Uh, today I am going to show you how to connect the multiple clients to a server using Shisha. So let's get started. We'll create a new project. First we have we will create the server class. Okay. Uh, we have to use the namespace. Sockets because we are uh, going to use socket class, so we have to use the socket class. And port number, port number can be anyone, but I am using 13,000 or 11,000 can be anyone. And then the IP address. I am using 127.0.0.1 ok so we are going to use the socket class socket server listener new socket as you can see here there are different type of overload functions here we are going to use address family not internet works then socket type dot stream then the protocol type dot tcp okay now we will use Okay, now we will use the IP endpoint. IP endpoint, which is in system dot net. So IP endpoint EP is equal to new endpoint. Now you can see here we have to put the IP address and port number. Okay, so IP address is a class here. So what we will do IP address dot parse the string IP. The string IP we have here IP address. Okay, and the port number. Okay, and uh, now we will bind the server listener dot bind server listener dot listen uh, it can be any numbers now bind we will with endpoints okay so now the server class uh, the server is listening so what we can write here server is listening okay now we need a client socket also the socket client socket is equal to we will pass the default value here so default value of which class socket okay while true what we have to use here the counter so it will count how many clients are connected okay so what we will do counter plus plus so increment the counter here okay now client socket is equal to server listener dot accept the accept function will accept the request from client as you can see here creates a new socket for a newly created connection so every time whenever client will send the request the server will accept the request and the counter will be incremented so what we will write here clients connected counter 
okay so now what we have to do here we have to create a function we have to create a function that will read the data from client okay the client will send the data okay so we have to read it here Okay, uh, what we are doing the client will send the data and the same data we will send to the same client if multiple clients are uh, connected to server then the, the particular client which client will send the data we are uh, sending back that data to their particular client so what we have to do here we have to use thread here because for every client we will use the different thread okay no thread start this is the way to call the parameterized thread okay so now what we have to do this is not a static function so we have to create a object of this program class to call the user function this function so how we will call p dot user and we will pass the client socket here okay now user thread dot start okay so for every client has an individual thread and it will work differently so what we have to do uh, string not string we will use byte because the message we will get will be in byte like client dot receive as you can see here it is taking the byte okay so what we have to do we we'll create a byte here. We'll give any size. Okay. The client order C will pass the byte here. If you want to know the size of the message received, then you will use integer size because the received message will send pass the uh, return the integer parameter that is the size of this buffer. Okay. Uh, so now we have to send this back to the client will we get the data so client dot send now you can see here there are eight function overloaded okay so we are going to use this one a bind buffer offset and all that okay so bind buffer the message we received message okay the offset is zero the size and the socket flag not none okay now you can see it will not reply it will not reply all the messages from the client because we are not using here while or there is some condition that how much time it has to run so we will use while true okay whenever the client is exist there it will read all the messages and reply back to the so our server class is completed now so we'll uh, create the client class okay so upon new project then process okay it's a console application client okay so so we have to use the same namespace here system dot net dot sockets okay. one most important thing is the port number and the IP address should be same otherwise the server will not respond to your request and it will got disconnected or terminated okay we have to use the same thing the socket server listener the socket ip endpoint we have to use these both same so what we will do we will just copy and paste it here okay. 
we have to change the name of the socket variable client socket okay I pen point what we'll do we just right click here quick actions and we'll use system.net okay the IP address the same copy and paste here okay so now sorry client socket dot connect okay so we will write the message we have to pass the endpoint here client is connected so what we have to do now we have to uh, send the message to server and we will get the message back so it should be uh, we will use while true so whenever user is want to enter the message that uh, can do ok so what we will do string the message from client is equal to null ok we will write here enter the message and then message from client is equal to console dot read line as you can see here client socket dot send you can see here we have we need to pass the byte here okay so what we have to do we have to convert the string to byte so this is how we will convert dot sky dot get bytes now you can see here in byte we have to pass the string string here so string is message from client ok and you can use offset the same thing here size size should be message from client dot length And this socket flag dot no. okay so now the client will send the message to server so what in server what we are doing the same message server is returning okay so we have to write the code that will read the messages from server okay so we have to use byte message from server is equal to new my you can give any size 1 0 to 4 sorry ok so now client socket dot receive the byte we have to pass here message from server ok now if we want to show it on screen what we have to do again we have to uh, convert the data into string so we will convert the byte into string dot encoding the same thing we have to do until we will get the get string function here so we have to buy pass message from server ok you can see here we can pass the indexes and the length of messages are that received from server ok so what we can use integer size equal to blend dot shape dot method from server and we can pass the size here size okay. that's all let's check so as you know the server should run first ok so we'll run it hopefully it will run successfully the server has started but yeah server is listening now so now we will run the client class
okay as you can see here one client is connected so enter the message hi server okay so the server responds the message hi server again okay hi how are you so the server is responding how are you but we have to check for the multiple clients okay so what we will do we will just run the again different instance okay start new instance okay now we will go to server first this is see two clients connected and another client is here okay what we are checking that we are sending from this client okay and this message will not be shown in this uh, in this client this is the previous client okay this is the new client hello from client 2 and you can see the client is responding this message to the particular client to this client not responding to this client okay so how we can uh, uh, connect the multiple clients to server and uh, we can just uh, transfer the messages okay so it, based on uh, in the logic we have written in uh, server the server will be respond to that accordingly that okay but if we want to uh, just send the message from one client to another client there is a different way of writing that code thank you guys hopefully you understood the logic if uh, you have any problem please comment below okay thank you so much and please do subscribe thank you